Hello boys and girls, we are in our fractions unit, which is uh, unit four, and today we are looking at adding and subtracting fractions, which is uh, lesson 5-2 out of the textbook, and our learning target for today says, I can add and subtract like and unlike fractions. We have a vocab word here that should be written down, which is like fractions. Uh, well, we know that the word like means that they're similar. And in the case of fractions, we are talking about fractions that have a uh, common denominator. So the bottom number is the same. Okay, so for example, some like fractions would be your one-fourth, two-fourth, three-fourth. They all have the same bottom number. And in this little box here, it tells us how to add and subtract like fractions. To add and subtract, you add or subtract, whichever operation we're doing, the numerator, or the top number, and write the result over the denominator. So the denominator stays the same, and you just add the numerators or subtract them. For example, we have um, 5 tenths plus 2 tenths, so we take the 5 plus 2 equals 7, and then we put it over the denominator of 10. Okay, and then same with subtraction, 11 twelfths minus 4 twelfths, 11 minus 4, which is 7, and we keep the denominator the same, which is 12. Here are some examples. Add 5 ninths plus 2 ninths, and we want to make sure that we write this in simplest form. So our rule says that we take the numerator, numerators, add them together. 5 plus 2 is 7, and we keep the denominator the same. There is a visual over here. We're taking the 5 ninths plus 2 ninths, and we have a total of 7 ninths. Now with subtraction, 9 tenths minus 1 tenth, written in simplest form, take the numerator, subtract them. Denominator stays the same. 9 minus 1 is 8 tenths. Now we have to simplify. I can divide both of these by 2, which would be 4 fifths divide by 2 and so our final answer is 4 fifths again we have a visual here if we are starting with the full 9 tenths and we're taking one of them away then we have 8 of them left here's a couple to try on your own go ahead pause me and then come back to check 1 6 plus 3 6. Take your numerators, add them together. Denominator stays the same. 1 plus 3 is 4 over 6. We want to make sure to simplify. We can divide both of these by 2. 4 divided by 2 is 2. 6 divided by 2 is 3. Final answer of 2 thirds. 3 7 minus 1 7. Subtract the numerators. Denominator stays the same. 3 minus 1 is 2 over 7. So 3 sevenths minus 1 seventh gives us 2 sevenths. Here are a couple more vocab words to know. Least common denominator. Okay, This is when we have two fractions and we need a denominator to be, or we need them to have the same denominator so we look for the least common denominator between the two. So for example if we had um, 1 half and 2 eighths the least common denominator, the smallest denominator between these two would be 8. Okay, this one's already in 8. Now this one we multiply both of these times 4. So we get 4 eighths. So now we have a common denominator, the least common denominator between the two. Now, unlike fractions, before we had like fractions where they had the same denominator. Now we're looking at unlike, which means that they have different denominators. So one-third, one-fourth, one-fifth. These are unlike fractions. So when we are adding unlike fractions, we need to have a um, least common denominator for them. So we would look at one-half and one-sixth. And I know that the least common denominator between these, the smallest number that they both go into, is going to be six. So one-half we would multiply by numerator and denominator times 3 and our new fraction would be 3 over 6 plus 1 6 
and that would give us 4 over 6, and if we simplify that down, that's 2 thirds. Here's a visual of what we just did. Okay. If we have 1 half plus 1 sixth, okay, here's our half, here's our sixth. When we add those together, it's going to give us 4 or 6. We broke it up into sixths, which is also 2 thirds. Now, just like when we are adding numbers with, unlike fractions, with subtracting, again, we need to have um, a common denominator. But first, I want to look at this with estimating. So we're taking 11 twelfths, and we're subtracting 3 eighths. So if we were to do an estimate over here, 11 twelfths is close to 1, and 3 eighths is close to a half. So 1 minus 1 half is 1 half. So our answer, we know ahead of time, should be pretty close to one half. Okay? We've got a little think symbol here, which is just kind of explaining um, a way to find the uh, least common denominator. We think of the least common multiple between 12 and 8. If we were to do the factor tree, it would give us for 12, 2 squared times 3, and for 8 is 2 thirds. When we take one of each number, we would take the two-thirds and the three and multiply them together, which gives us 24. So that tells us that our least common denominator would be 24. Okay, So 11 twelfths, we would times by 2, which would be 22 over 24. And then we have 3 eighths times those by 3. This is what this is showing right here. Okay. Which would be 9 24 So if we take 22 24 minus 9 24 again, 22 minus 9 is going to give us 13. The denominator stays this, the same, 24. Okay, so our answer is 13 24 Now, if we think of that estimate that we did earlier, it should be close to 1 half. Well, half of 24 is 12, so 13 is pretty close, which check for the reasonableness here. 13 24 is pretty close to 1 half. So our answer does make sense based on the estimate we did ahead of time. Here are some for you to try and then come back and check your answer. 8 ninths minus 2 thirds, well we can get a common denominator of 9, so times the top and bottom numerator and denominator by 3, so we have 8 ninths minus 6 ninths, 8 minus 6 equals 2, and the denominator stays the same, so our final answer is 2 ninths. Next one, 5 sixths minus 3 eighths. Our least common denominator for these would be 24. Okay. So we would take 6 times 4, 5 times 4, which is 20. This one times 3. Uh, 3 times 3 is 9. 8 times 3 is 24. Now we do our subtraction of the numerators. 20 minus 9 is 11. Denominator stays the same. So our final answer is 11 24 And for this one, if we were to estimate, again, 5 6 is close to 1. 3 eighths is close to a half. So 1 minus 1 half should be close to 1 half. And 11 24 is pretty close to 1 half. So our answer does make sense. It is a good idea to always do that check to see if your answer makes sense. Next one. 7 eighths plus 3 fourths. Let's start with our estimate for this one. 7 eighths is close to 1. I'm going to keep 3 fourths as is. So our answer should be close to 1 and 3 fourths. Okay. Our common denominator for this would be 8. So 7 eighths plus times the numerator and denominator uh, by 2 on this one. So 3 times 2 is 6. 4 times 2 is 8. 7 plus 6 is going to be 13 over 8, which gives us an improper fraction where the t numerator is larger than the denominator. So we can turn this into a mixed number. 
by seeing how many times 8 fits into 13. Fits in there one time. And there are, now we say, okay, well, 13 minus 8 is 5, so there's 5 left over out of 8. So our answer is 1 and 5 eighths, which um, is pretty close to 1 and 3 fourths, so this answer does make sense. Okay, here are key steps to adding and subtracting fractions that you should pause the video right now and write these steps down. The first step is rewrite fractions with the same common denominator. Add or subtract the numerators, keep the denominator the same, and then write the sum or difference, the answer, in simplest form. So this should be written down, boxed, starred, bolded in your notes. Okay, if remember you can always go back and rewatch this video. If you are still a little lost, you can always go and look in your book at the examples. And there's uh, tutoring video videos in the online textbook. Go ahead and head on over and take your Nike quiz.